this, this is just basically a video of uh, me showing off my safe stretch from my PV and my Cooper. It's that's about it. Um, I basically stuck with a much of because well, this main video is mainly for Aaron or well, the land drop. So I'm just showing off my. I'm sorry for my truck. It's just some safe strats here, and also, um, yeah, he's. I believe he has trouble with this fight sometimes because he practices it with, uh, um, with easy mode on. And also, if you, like, even if you don't activate easy mode, then you still don't spawn in the right place. So okay, so basically, if you notice here, I only jump when he shoots his guns. So it's, it doesn't leave you in a vulnerable position if you try to cut corners, because sometimes you want to cut corners and then you end up jumping and then he shoots you and you can't really readjust where you are, so I only jump when I see him bring up his guns, even if that means not cutting a corner in a certain place. So that's just a safe strat I do. Basically the safe strats are only for SGDQ, which congratulations on getting this game in by the way. It's awesome, but um, next safe strat is these mirrors. So you can go from you can do two mirrors in one gun cycle, but that's risky and then uh, Jump is kind of hard, so that's, that's about it. I just do one, I believe, in waste about 15 20 seconds, but you don't die, which is pretty pretty nice for a marathon run. I mean, you can incorporate these in, into a non marathon run, but it's yeah, it's mainly, mainly for a marathon. I mean, I did this just for consistency because this is my actual PB, this isn't a I didn't pre-record this or anything. Um, okay, so the next part is sometimes when you land on the vine, um, or press circle on a vine, you clip through. So my work, my workaround is just not getting a speed boost, or not getting as large of a speed boost. So basically what you want to do is land as far as ahead as possible, because you get more of a speed boost by pressing circle from far away. But I also I also don't take the shortcut here as another sister. But um, oh, I have to explain this, okay. So, basically, I believe you clip through when you're too, you're more parallel with the vine. So, just by not getting as large of a speed boost, you, you're more up and down than you are parallel with the vine, and you don't clip through. I believe it's that, not the speed, because I also do it here, even though I don't get much... I don't know. But, yeah, so, just don't get as large of a speed boost, and you're usually fine. But here, I land on the vault, and then I press some... Um, and then I jump on the vine. So I, I'm going from out of bounds back in now. I don't know how if that has anything to do with it, but I don't get as large of a speed boost, but I don't clip through. So I sacrifice speed boost for not clipping through. I'm just showing this because I finished the level and I go back in just get the horseshoe. It's again another safe strat, and it also conveniently takes me to where I want to go. Um, I believe I've made it clear that the, the only it, the main thing is just not not worrying about the speed boost and. Yeah, I mean, you don't get a speed boost, or you miss a few seconds, or you don't... You waste time, but it's fine. Okay, so I gotta explain this. So basically, I see the light on the platform, and then I aim for the platform when I press circle. So even if I clip through, I will still land on that platform. So, and even though I didn't clip through that time, I still ended up jumping again, and, like, pressing... Jumping again and pressing circle, because I, I clipped through there so often that... I just, I instinctively just try to land on the vine again. So, yeah, that's just another workaround to not Because you waste time having to wait for the light and everything, but you don't clip through. So you don't waste a run, and that's especially important for um, Marathon Run. Okay, here. So this is another thing. I aim the... Wow, I'm way behind on the video. So basically, I only showed that because I want to aim the, the, the rope, I'm, not rope, but... Thing I'm grabbing on, I aim it between two spikes, and then I jump, because I have to wait for the light cycle anyways. That's the only reason I showed that, it's complicated here, whatever. Okay, so now I'm super behind on the video. So here I'm just showing off after I finish um, the scooter level the with the auto-scrolling. Um, I don't have any I don't have any horseshoes, so I go back into a grave undertaking and I grab my horseshoes, so I'm, I have horseshoes for chickens, which would suck. I don't I don't like doing chickens with horseshoes, so that's why I, I grab a horseshoe here, and then I go back into the level of Gassy Voyage, and then I go ahead and do chickens. Okay, I'm s hopefully this is making sense. I can answer I can answer questions if none of this makes sense. I'm sort of rambling. This is like the third time doing this commentary, so I'm just rambling. Um, so now I'm showing this Ruby fight. The only reason I'm showing it is because you and Jeff seem to complain about drop inputs here, and 
I don't seem to get dropped inputs, but that's because, as you can hear, I'm spamming the button before it happens. So maybe I do drop my inputs, but I just re-enter the input and it's fine. I don't know, but I don't seem to have as much of a problem as this way with you guys, and I do spam the button, so it doesn't cause me any problems, but I don't know. If you have a good way for this fight, then that's fine. Like, especially if you're doing it with horseshoes, you get your horseshoes back when you reload the level, so it's fine. And lastly, I'm showing Rapid Fire Assault. So I'm mainly showing Rapid Fire Assault because, um... Uh, just, this is my understanding of how this works. You want to be in the corner, and it helps me in real time if I do full circles. So I could get in the corner and then do full circles on the right analog stick. And that's about it, really, that I wanted to show for this level. Um, another thing I do show is just make sure you move out of bounds properly, because you can get stuck there. I don't know if it's happening to you, but just make sure you're moving out of bounds properly. But, uh, yeah, so